coming up in this week's City Life. A new exhibition just launched at the Chinese Art Centre. Gordon Cheng's exhibition, Death by a Thousand Cuts, is his first solo exhibition at the venue. But Gordon is no stranger to the centre, as he took up the very first Breathe residency there, where artists live in a specially designed space and dedicate themselves completely to expanding their work and practice. So you might say that the international acclaim he now has is all due in no small part to the support he was shown in our city. When the Chinese Art Centre first moved to this venue, um, Gordon was one of the first artists to take residence with us. It was in year 2004. And at that time, we see the artist was really hard working, staying in the studio, always doing a lot of different paintings, very productive residence. And over the year, we see Gordon have been developing his career really well. He quite consistent in developing this particular style. Well, this is definitely one of those exhibitions with the wow factor. But let's have a look up close. This work is as powerful close up. The entire canvas has been covered in sections from the Financial Times. And in some way that's pointing to China's power as a global economy. But it also speaks to the title of the exhibition, Death by a Thousand Cuts, as China more and more stamps its authority on the global markets. It's, it's kind of a, a dark, playful reference to the fact that I do use collage as well. I, cut, cut, I use cut and paste techniques in my work from, from the computer to literally cutting up the newsprint and collaging it down and so forth. But also because I make these kind of end of the world sort of landscapes, these kind of dystopias, these kind of uh, post-apocalyptic sort of scenarios. But then I was also thinking about the rise of China as well, the rise of, and the changing ideology of China as well from, from, from a socialism to a, to a capitalist ideology. It's a little bit like um, getting to know someone. You can't expect or at least I wouldn't expect to get to know anyone in particular straight away but for a period of time you know hopefully you learn more and more and in the same way that you know with with an artwork you know you're in a sense communicating and and I would hope that all those multi-layers would over time sort of unravel itself for a viewer to find whatever meaning it is that they would find you know in the same way that even when I finish a painting I don't necessarily know every aspect of why it's arrived at this point but quite often it's for a period of months in which I'm able to digest what I've actually made. For me, how I see painting is like, first, um, it is a visual art, so I see the visual impact. Obviously, we can see very well from Gordon's painting, because when you first come into a venue, you saw the painting, you're just attracted by it, because the space, very mysterious atmosphere, and a lot of detail, a lot of things going on. And when we try to get closer, we try to explore the narrative, the content in the painting, and then we look into what's going on in the world, and Gordon always can respond to this part as well. Death by a Thousand Cuts is at the Chinese Arts Centre until the 23rd of March. After you.